It really feels like spring and we're exactly one month away from our commencement with many activities to keep us busy between now and then. But over the weekend, Shoe Love impressed us with their vocal talents at their pop concert. The all-female choir focused on performing inspirational songs. Our graduate students celebrated their successes at a fire and ice themed graduate student dinner dance on Saturday evening. It was a great way for students to connect and to unwind. We've had our share of events and, le and lectures this week. On Monday, the Office of Graduate Student Affairs and the Jack Welsh College of Business hosted a business etiquette and networking forum with professional Karen Thomas. Campus Ministry held an interfaith Passover Seder on Tuesday. Rabbi Marcello Cormis led that service, included meditation, singing, and discussion in the chapel's narthex. As part of the Center for Healthcare Education inaugural year lecture series, guest speaker Ann Spenard talked about advanced care planning on Wednesday. We also welcomed Reverend Mark Bosco of Georgetown University on Wednesday, who gave a lecture on building up the Catholic intellectual tradition. Thank you all to our guests who enlightened us and provided us with much to think about. I'm excited to attend the theater arts production of In the Heights tonight at the Edgerton. This is a main stage performance for the semester, and this weekend is your one and only chance to see it. I'm proud of these students for their work on the play and their dedication to charity. A portion of the ticket proceeds will go towards Puerto Rican hurricane relief. The group is also trying to raise $10,000 for relief efforts. To donate, click the link in the description. Congratulations to members of the Women's Figure Skating Club who qualified to compete in the Figure Skating National Championships. The group is headed to Denver and the competitions will take place over the weekend. Good luck to our team. Math professor Bernadette Boyle trained hard all winter and spring running in the rain and cold for her role representing SHU in the Boston Marathon on Monday. She has been raising money for student scholarships, but is still short of her $10,000 goal. Click the link in the description to donate. We'll be rooting for you, Bernadette. Former SHU professor Camille Reale was on campus Wednesday, meeting with students who benefited from her endowed scholarship. Camille had lunch with the students in the hearth room where she learned about their plans for the future. We had the pleasure of hosting the baseball team at the president's house this week. You can see a glimpse of their visit on my Instagram account, along with other campus happenings. Good luck to all our student athletes playing at home and away this weekend. Have a great weekend.